It may make you cringe when you hear the word tank at, but the Wiesel, Germany's small but deadly air transportable armored fighting vehicle, packs a powerful punch. Rheinmetall Defense produces the smallest vehicle in the Bundeswehr fleet, which can be flown into combat. It has been used in Afghanistan, Kosovo, Somalia, and Bosnia and Herzegovina, as the infantry of the German Bundeswehr, particularly airborne infantry, was viewed as being unprepared to successfully engage enemy main battle tanks, MBT, in the 1970s. The German army required an air transportable light armored vehicle for use by its airborne troops. This requirement led to the development of Wiesel. The vehicle has to fit aboard typical NATO transport aircraft and eventually be able to be dropped from the air. Along with enemy tanks or aircraft, it should be able to take on infantry. The Bundeswehr purchased some prototypes of the future battle vehicle from Porsche in 1975, but the project was abandoned in 1978 due to lack of funding. However, Porsche continued to develop because the interest from other nations. With the start of the deliveries in the late 1980s, the Wiesel was ultimately unveiled as a new weapon system for the Bundeswehr. Due to the vehicle's small size and agility, which make it challenging to see on the battlefield, it was given the moniker Wiesel for short, Weasel. The reconnaissance and fire support vehicle equipped with a 20mm cannon and the anti-tank missile carrier equipped with the tow anti-tank missile launcher were the two most prevalent models in use by the German Army. Production of the Wiesel I lasted from 1990 to 1992 and 1993. The German Army acquired 210 of these missile transporters in all. The Wiesel II was modified by the Germans in 2001, but the anti-tank missile carrier variant was not chosen for production. The Wiesel I anti-tank missile transporters with tow missiles continued to be used by the German military. Additionally, it is intended to keep using these vehicles until 2030. For the record, this carrier for anti-tank missiles was never exported. Depending on the configuration, the Wiesel I measures around 11.6 feet in length, 6 feet in height, and 6 feet in width. It is lighter than the armored version of the American Humvee military light truck, weighing only 3.03 short tons. The vehicle's 2.1 liter diesel Audi engine with 86 horsepower has a top speed of 45 miles per hour. The Wiesel can traverse a 3.9 foot wide trench and 1.6 foot deep water, respectively. The company that made it was Rheinmetall AG. The steel armor chassis can withstand typical 5.56 millimeter and 7.62 millimeter small weapons ammunition, as well as shell splinters. The vehicle was airdropped from a plane equipped with parachutes, but the test was unsuccessful. Four test vehicles were destroyed. Nevertheless, the Wiesel can still be delivered by transport helicopters with ease. A single CH-53 Sea Stallion helicopter can deliver two at once, and regular transport aircraft can load four or more Wiesel vehicles. While the larger Wiesel II, which is around 15.7 feet long, 7.1 feet high, depending on the type, and 6.1 feet abroad, has roughly twice as much internal volume as its predecessor. In the heaviest version, it weighs about 5.27 short tons. A fifth road wheel is added to the Wiesel II, which is an extended version of the Wiesel I. A 1.9-liter Volkswagen inline four-cylinder turbo diesel with direct injection and an intercooler was installed in its place producing 109 horsepower and coupled with a ZF automatic transmission. The Wiesel II has more modern safety features for the crew's protection than the Wiesel I, including improved armor, an air conditioning system, and NBC shielding. It is typically bigger, quicker, and stronger than the Wiesel I. Furthermore, the Wiesel's defense is fairly restricted because of its small weight of less than three tons where the crew is only protected by the armor against small arms fire and splintered artillery shells. This missile carrier is armed with a tow anti-tank guided missile launcher and missiles that are wire guided. The guidance on this weapon is semi-automatic. The target must remain in the gunner's line of sight until the missile strikes. The launcher has an ANTAS-4A thermal imager that can fire both during the day and night. 
Both the more recent and capable TOW-2 missiles as well as the previous TOW missiles can be fired from the Vesel anti-tank missile carriage. The same launcher is used by several wireless TOW missiles. Now let's see some of the following TOW series missile lists. A standard TOW missile with a 3 km range is the BGM-71A. Steel armor can be pierced by 430 mm. Long before the Wiesel anti-tank missile carrier was built, this missile originally emerged in 1970. The BGM-71B is an upgraded missile with a 3.75 km range. Steel armor can be pierced by it by 430 mm. The BGM-71C has a 3.75 km range and can be pierced by armor up to 630 mm thick. This missile first emerged in 1976. A standard TOW-2 missile is the BGM-71D. It has enhanced navigation and a 3.75 km range. It pierces steel armor by 900 mm. It first emerged in 1983. The dual heat warhead on the BGM-71E is designed to destroy tanks with explosive reactive armor, ERA. It has a 3.75 km range and can go through 900 mm of steel armor placed behind ERA. It first emerged in 1987. The top attack missile BGM-71F detonates above the tank to cut through its flimsy top armor. Its maximum range is 4.2 km. It first emerged in 1987. BGM-71G is a distinct warhead equipped top attack missile. The last on the list is BGM-71H, a bunker busting missile. It is employed against various fortified structures or buildings. This missile has a range of 3.75. Both wireless and wire guided versions of this missile are manufactured. On the Wiesel anti-tank missile carrier, it is unknown whether all of these U.S. missiles were fired or whether any of them were, and are being fired by the Germans. Despite its small size, the Wiesel is a highly effective anti-tank vehicle. It is, possible, it is possible to take the missile launcher out of the car and use it as an independent weapon, so that the crew can utilize the launcher on a regular tripod while outside the truck, and it can also carry six missiles. In addition to the additional missile carried externally on the back of the vehicle, there are five missiles kept inside the vehicle. The launcher has room for one more missile. The ammunition load would increase to seven missiles as a result. Interestingly, a second Wiesel resupply vehicle that transports reload missiles can accompany this small anti-tank missile carrier. This anti-tank missile carrier didn't have any backup weapons at first. On modified vehicles, a 7.62 mm machine gun was fitted for self-defense. For your information, despite its small size, this vehicle has a crew of three, which includes the vehicle commander, who controls the launcher, the driver, and the loader. Additionally, there were Wiesel-1 prototypes that were armed with hot anti-tank missiles. A UTM-800 turret was on one of them. It also has two launchers with missiles and retractable mast with sensors where the hot missiles have a longer range and are substantially more powerful than the tow. The Wiesel is not as slow as it appears to be. A top speed of 85 km per hour is achievable. The vehicle's low weight, tracked layout, and low ground pressure all contribute to its strong cross-country performance. A flotation kit can be installed to help you traverse lakes and rivers. This vehicle is propelled by its tracks on the water. It's so amazing! That's all for today. Thanks for watching.